Okay, so now we're going to make some butter, just like Grandma used to make it. Oh, one exception, she didn't have a food processor. So, I'm assuming you can do this in most food processors. I did it at school with a container with two marbles in it and cream, and I shook it up and down until it was butter and whey. So, I'm going to do it in my Thermomix. So, if you don't have a Thermomix, do it in your food processor. I don't know how long it will take. Should be fine. I put in a butterfly that's just to help. I don't know what it does really. Whips it up a bit better, I suppose. Okay, so two things of pure cream, none of this thickened cream business. Don't want any of those additives in your food. This is the best thing about making your food from scratch. You don't have any of those nasty additives, and it's all natural for your beautiful children. Do we only want the best for our kids? Okay. Two of those. So now we're not sure how long this will take because it depends on the freshness of your cream. Now, one thing I do know is this can't go past speed four if you have a thermomix because you will shred your your thingy to pieces, your butterfly. Okay, so one to three minutes it will take. So we're just going to keep filming because it could take 20 seconds, who knows. I'm actually too scared to make cream in here because I make butter so well. I'm scared that I'll serve up to guests. But because I put caster sugar and vanilla in my cream, it wouldn't make a very good butter if it turns to butter. So, you can hear it. you'll actually hear it make a sound, a change in the sound when it um, starts splashing the butter against the wall. Best thing about this is the buttermilk, the whey is the buttermilk. And I always thought buttermilk sounded like really fattening because it says buttermilk. So I thought, oh my, that must be really, really fattening. But you wouldn't believe it. It's not really, really fattening because it's just the, the juice of the cream. The stuff that's left over the butter, that's the fattening part. Whoa, it's getting there. It's cream. And soon it will be butter. Really good, wholesome butter. So good for you, you know. You'll be able to hear it change soon. It's very exciting. Ooh, can you hear it? The machine's going to start pounding away because the butter will be hitting the sides of it. Oh, it's turning yellow. It's so exciting. Now, buttermilk is great for buttermilk pancakes, buttermilk scones, banana bread with buttermilk in it. Listen. Can you hear that? <laughs> Ready? It's been a minute and a half, so we'll just have a little look. Oh my word. Let's bring that up so everyone can see. Can you see in there? Wow. You need to bring it back a bit so it's no. not so close. Okay, now let's strain off this way. So what you need to do, obviously take the butterfly out. That was a minute and a half. Okay, pop this in. I always forget which way. This way. Okay, and watch this, this buttermilk. This is like 98% fat. This is probably 100% fat free. Look at that. You make the lightest pancakes, the lightest scones with that. The scones I make with that, how good are they, Jenna? They're pretty good. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're darn good, I'll tell you what. Okay, so, whoa, look at that. Oh, my gosh. It's like little chunks of golden heaven. Yes, I know, I make heaven references. Okay, so let's get my little spatula, and we're just going to squeeze... Uh, any more see that it's just pouring out because you want to get all of it out because you don't want to waste a single drop of that golden wholesome goodness okay let's get some more out and squeeze it out oh my gosh so we've got from two 600 mils of milk of but of cream we've got 200 and What's that? A one and a quarter cup. 300 mils. That's equivalent. So one carton of the milk, the cream turned into whey, buttermilk, and one carton of the cream turned into... Oh my gosh, look at that butter. Okay. 
Now, it's very important what we do now. We have to wash the butter. You don't want any of the whey left in there, otherwise it will um, go off quite quickly. So you need, now a little test everyone, what would happen if I put warm water in here? Very good, it would melt. So, we have to make sure we put in cold water from the fridge and we have to wash it. So I'm just going to pour some of that in, all of it in. And we're going to wash the butter. Okay, how long do I wash it for? Speed for 10 seconds. Okay. Now, we're going to strain that off. Now, don't be confused like I did the first time I did it, because I'm easily confused. I'm a poor soul. I, th I rang up someone and said, can I pour this in with the buttermilk? But no, because this is the dirty water. So I'm just going to pour that in here. Don't come too close to my dirty skin. Okay. How good does that look? Okay, I'm going to put on, from my trusty cupboard, a rubber glove, because I don't like getting grease all over my hands. But I find the best way to do this is to squeeze it out with your hands. It's very therapeutic. Squeeze it all out, all the juice. Otherwise, you're going to end up with watery butter and it will go mouldy because you don't want any liquid in it. That's why you have some butters in the supermarket. Some have a higher water content. You need the one for your good baking, for your pastries, and that with the lowest water content, the better. Just squeezing it against the sides. If you want to be really clever, you get muslin cloth and you put it in the muslin and you squeeze it until everything comes out. So I'm not going to get everything out of there that a professional would do, but for a home cooker, I think that's pretty darn good. What do you think? Oh, nearly cut myself. Nearly had another amputation, everyone. Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay. Now, because we're making pull-apart bread today, we're going to be adding herbs and salt and garlic to this. Okay? So, we're just going to pause a bit while I... Oh, no, we won't. Well, let's just keep going. Let's just live dangerously. Let's live on the edge. Okay. So... We'll just give this a little rinse, because it doesn't matter, because we're going to use that butter anyway. This will go in the fridge, and I think for dinner we'll have buttermilk pancakes. But you don't need to know about that. I'd hate to make you feel bad that that's not what you're having for dinner tonight. Okay, so what do I need to put in here, Jenna? Food. Look at my butter. Do you want to just admire that? How good is that? Okay, so I want to put in some garlic. So let me grab this and a knife. Okay. Two cloves of garlic. Just cook them. I don't know if I did this the best way, but it's the way I do it. Okay, so tough. Tough if you want to do it a different way, you can do that. Your kitchen, your rules. So two cloves of garlic. I'm going to put them in. And we're also going to put in some parsley. There's a YouTube video, you must check it out, on how to peel garlic in your Thermomix. Let's grab some parsley. Okay. A handful of that. And I wish I had some fresh oregano. Would I put chili in it, do you think? No. No, okay. Usually I have fresh oregano. I'll just have a look. You never know. 